What's up guys, so today we're going hunting with the Benjamin Marauder 25 cal PCP air gun. In my last video I said if it got a thousand likes I was going to go take this gun out and we're going to go hunting with it. So I set up my ground blind right here. We're going after some groundhogs right now. You see how it's all green up there with beans, but right down here in this little part there's like no beans at all. That's how much the groundhogs have eaten around here. The pellets I'm using today are these JSB 25.39 grain. Nothing special, just like your standard 25 caliber pellets. Alright guys. We got a groundhog coming out. He's right over there. I can only see his head sticking up 37 yards away. Okay, we got a little bit of wind going left, so it shouldn't be too hard of a shot. Got him. Smoked him right there. Not in that one. He might have fell down the hole. I don't see him. I just rewatched the footage in slow motion. It looked like a really good shot. Maybe a tiny bit back towards the ear, but it still is a good enough shot to kill the groundhog. He just was able to kick his way down the hole a little bit. I guess so it's the next day. I actually moved the blind to a different spot. I actually did a video here at this exact spot like two years ago with my Gamma Air Rifle. But this time, you know, we got the PCP, so this is going to be awesome. So I've been seeing a groundhog around here quite often, just out in the yard eating grass. There's also lots of sparrows. There's pigeons up here too, and starlings. So we have pretty much everything right now. I actually, oh man, here's a starling coming right in. Okay, I'm going to turn this off, take a shot. Well, the starling flew away, but there's a sparrow right here. Oh, I accidentally pulled the trigger. I wasn't even ready. All my shots today are going to range between 25 and maybe all the way out to 70 yards. The bush right in front of me, a lot of sparrows like to hang out in there. That's about 25 yards away. They also like to perch up by that telephone pole. That's 37 yards. In the corner of that barn way out there, that's 55. And up on that other telephone pole is 60 yards down towards that wire. That's got to be pushing 70 yards, I think. There's not a lot of wind out today actually, so it should be pretty easy to take the shots. There's my holdover reticle on the Straylock Pro app. So I might be holding up to three mil dots today. Right, let's keep waiting. I see lots of sparrows flying around. I think we'll get some more shots here soon. What in the world, man? I hit that thing. Sparrows and starlings are really jumpy today. Like, if they see any movement from me in here, they're gone. A lot of my shots I have to just rush to take. Starling 60 yards. Oh, got him. Finally, it's about time I got one. Alright guys, we finally had the groundhog come out. He's way over there. He's like 80 yards away. There's too, there's just too much wind out to take this shot. If there was no wind, I'd, I would consider taking it, but I don't know if I should wait to see if he'll come to me, or if I should just like sneak over there and like army crawl to him and take the shot. See if I can get within 60 yards, I don't know. He's right behind that little, that little spot right there. You can just see his head sticking up every now and then. I think I'll wait about five minutes. If he stays in that same spot, I think I'll go after him. If he comes this way, I'll take take the shot so I'll see you guys in five minutes all right so it's actually a couple hours later I went to go sneak up on that groundhog he stood up and then saw me and ran away um, right out there is where the groundhog was at when I saw him so I moved my blind right over here and they usually come out right there it's only like a 25 yard shot from here to there where the groundhogs come out so if they end up coming out they're going to be really close i'm going to have to be really stealthy because there's a good chance they're going to see me so i'll just put you guys on the scope cam when he comes out because yeah i'm going to be able to turn this camera on or anything got him I 
I saw him start coming out between the silos just walking along the edge and I got ready and he popped up right on top of the gravel and my the gun barrel was pointed at the middle of this so I had to do this to be able to get him but yes we finally got a groundhog that's just a little guy so I took a headshot on him looks like we got a complete pass through I didn't see any more groundhogs at that one spot. I moved my blind again. I set it right up there about, I don't know, 35, 40 yards away. There's several groundhog holes along this creek and they come out and eat our watermelons. Like, look at this one. Look at all the leaves gone right there. That's crazy. And you can see all their footprints everywhere on the plastic. So obviously we can't have groundhogs eating all of our broccoli. Watermelon, I mean, I don't know, I said broccoli. But yeah, it's actually nine o'clock out right now, so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. We're gonna be hunting this tomorrow morning, and I'm expecting to get at least one here. All right, it's the next day. It's really windy out today. Yeah, we're gonna have to aim for some winds today. You can see that grass blowing pretty good. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. The side just blew in. Gosh, probably knocked my scope out of place. I hope the groundhogs are gonna come out today. All right, I'm gonna keep hunting here. Hopefully my blind doesn't blow away on me. Yeah, I'll see you guys when the groundhog comes out. Did I just get that? No way. That was 70, that was 75 yards. All right, so this is actually the second day hunting at this spot by the watermelons all the way over there I saw one come out here So I got lined up on him and I was about ready to take the shot And then I looked over and there was one right at this one spot like 35 yards away headshot that one Then I got realigned up on this one. He stood up because he heard the shot check it out Sniped him right in the head. That is crazy. I mean, it's another little guy. There's a lot of little ones yearlings around here All right now we need to find the other one Oh gosh, that one's still alive. All right, he's dead now, we got him. All right, so we're gonna try to get one more groundhog in this video. It's getting late out. I'm trying to think of a spot to put my blind at for tomorrow morning's hunt. So I'm at this field. This is actually the same field where uh, I shot at the first groundhog in the video, but I'm looking along this tree line and there's like zero beans out to like right here. You can like see the line almost of where there's no beans. I'm not sure if it was just didn't grow there for some reason or that's just how much the groundhogs have eaten all the way out to here. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna put the blind up here for tomorrow morning there's got to be some groundhogs living in here so i mean if there's only just a couple we're still gonna have a chance at them you know all right so i'm in the middle between this side and this side so i'm gonna go and set my blind up right in the middle of this edge of the field so that way if a groundhog comes out on the furthest side of each end of the field i'll still be able to take a shot at it it might be like 80 yards but if there's no wind i think we could get something at 80 yards all right so i'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully one comes out all right guys, it's the next morning. I've been in here for like half an hour already. I haven't seen anything yet, but I might move in a little bit because I can see one walking around over there. I don't know, you probably can't see him, but he's way over there. I'll probably stay here for like half an hour more. If I don't see, if nothing else comes out, I'll probably, I'm just gonna go over there, set my blind up, see if we can get one of them over there instead. All right guys, so it's later in the day. I did move my blind over to that spot where i started the video i know there's more groundhogs here so we got a good chance of seeing something today hopefully it won't take too long i'll just put you guys on the scope cam when something comes out right now 37 yards got a little bit of wind going right got him i was only waiting in the blind for like i don't know 15 minutes oh yeah he didn't go anywhere finally we got one recovered well a big one all right, looks like I got him right there below the ear. Not a perfect shot, but I mean, it was good enough to kill him instantly. That's what I like about 25 calibers. Also with that one from yesterday, you know how I hit him in the nose like that? If I was using a 22 caliber, there is no way I would have got that thing. I guarantee you, he would have just ran back in his hole and got away. But that 25 caliber smacks him so hard. Like he didn't go anywhere, he just laid there. So I was able to go and put a follow-up shot in him. But animals like groundhogs and raccoons, I think I'm only gonna stick with 25 caliber unless I'm shooting like a super powerful 22 cal air gun. I was only here for like 15 minutes. I'm gonna stay here a little bit longer, see if we can get another one. If not, I'll see you guys at the catch and cook. 
All right, so here's the groundhog. I only kept one of the baby ones. This is the one I shot at 75 yards. I only kept one because they always turned out disgusting and I didn't want to skin all of them in case they're all bad. So every time I kill groundhogs, I always have people telling me in the comments that they're so good. So we're going to try some different recipe out. We're going to boil it in this pot of water and see if it takes away some of the chewiness. All right, we're going to get some of this chocolate milk water. We're going to boil it in this. Okay. All right, we're gonna cook it in the cabin right here. Redo, redo that, redo that, I wasn't filming. Okay. Hopefully this will boil if I just put it right here. Some steak seasoning. I have no idea if this is how you're supposed to boil stuff, but whatever. This is what we do when we're waiting for our kitchen cooks to cook. No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh. Sick. <laughs> All right, so those of you who've been subscribed to the channel for a long time might recognize this cabin. We finally finished building it. Well, actually, they did. I didn't even help at all. But we got all the sides filled in. It's our little firewood storage, a window. Brett put concrete floors in here, too. I don't know about you guys, but that looks pretty good to me. It's nice and tender, though. This stick goes right through it. I think I might have overcooked it, but it just falls apart. Look at that. That was its leg that just came off. All right, let's try this piece of leg. Oh my goodness. This might be the best groundhog I've ever had. It's actually edible. All right, here's the back strap. It just tastes like squirrel and rabbit. Cannot believe it. This groundhog's actually edible. Okay, this could be because it's a baby one. This one's a yearling. I guess next time I'm just gonna have to try a full grown groundhog because yeah, we'll have to see if those are any different, but this one's really good. This is just like a rabbit or squirrel. I'm gonna sit here and eat some more of this groundhog. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe.